Right here I have a broken bolt. There's a stud, if you will, stuck in this aluminum. And uh, I'm just gonna go step by step. I'm not gonna go through every scenario. As I come across stuff, I'm gonna do videos. So uh, a different broken bolt or a different scenario might have something else going on with it. But something like this, real tiny. The first thing that you wanna do is sometimes when a bolt breaks, there's a little ledge and there is just a small ledge. Uh, it's gonna be difficult to see, but I got the camera pretty much as close as I can get it. There's a little bit of a ledge right here. And what you what you first wanna do is take a right angle pick or something sharp and, and try to get it inside that ledge and try to spin it around by hand. And if you'll notice, I can get it in that ledge and I can get some torque on it even. See how, I'm even bending this pick and it's just, it's not spinning loose. So uh, what I got here is uh, just some reverse left-handed drill bit set. So what I really like is, I wish I had the smallest one still available, but I probably burned it up. And to tell you the truth, this 3 16 which is about the size of this bolt, Anyway, so this is kind of fat for this application, but uh, this is a little bit burnt up as well. Definitely never run these right. These are left-handed bits. You'll burn them up if you run them right. But a lot of times you can run this drill bit and just start drilling out the stud and then the stud will just start pulling out itself. So hopefully that happens. But so if this bolt was this bolt's recessed, it's broken inside that pan. Uh, if, if it was elevated a little bit, what I might do is take a grinder and clean it off. But since it's recessed, I don't really have that option. I mean, I probably could put a, a little tiny die grinder in there and clean it up, but why am I talking about all that? Well, I can't just throw this drill bit on it and try to drill it. Why? Because it's gonna, the surface of that broken stud is not flush it's got a little shoulder in it, like I was talking about. So if I try to just put a drill bit on it and drill it, it's gonna float around and it's gonna go off to the side. See, this is a steel bolt and this is an aluminum pan. So it definitely wants to go, if it goes off to the side, it's gonna start drilling into that aluminum. I don't wanna mess up the aluminum. It's really soft compared to the steel. Let's just get started. So the most important, the most important part of this job now is getting the hole centered. So what you want is you want a really sharp center punch. So, uh, I probably have one somewhere. I need to order at least one more. There's a, a self center or a, uh, there's a center punch that has a little spring loaded action in it and, and you push it down and it uh, is a self loading punch. So you don't have to pull a hammer with you and, and do it. I don't necessarily need that for most applications. That's kind of a precision application, but um, I gotta get a little bit more room to swing this hammer. So the idea is you get it absolutely, you want this really sharp and you get it absolutely in the dead center. I mean, you double, triple check before you hit this thing with a hammer and then let's go and hit it. All right, that's pretty, pretty centered. Now I'm gonna hit it one more time and kind of angle it into the center more. All right, uh, one more time. I'm getting a good, good little start. Now, I actually saw, just from hitting it, I saw some grease bubble up from the bottom. So, I'm gonna try the pick method one more time before I try the drill bit method. There might still be a little bit of shoulder there. And nope, it's not coming out whatsoever with the pick. So I'm just gonna clean off that oil or whatever it was behind there. And we're gonna go straight to the drill. So, uh, Let's take out our step bit and then we're gonna load up. Here it is, turned my back for one second and I lost my drill bit too, so 
I can't say this enough. This is a left hand drill bit. You're gonna have a tendency to wanna do right like always. You gotta flick the switch to reverse and we're gonna hit the drill in reverse. Now I gotta have a little bit of room for the drill as well. So now that we got it nice and center punched, it's gonna hopefully line us up perfectly straight. And also I need to pay attention to my angle. This is angled at like a 45. I need to keep the drill bit perfectly straight. I'm not so worried about oil in it. First off, there's a little bit of oil still in there, but second, I kind of want it to grip. It came out a little bit. Like I said, this thing is dull. Hopefully this video makes me enough money to where I can buy a new reverse thread drill bit or reverse bit not thread i used to say in reverse thread because you know that's the more typical thing all right so put some pressure on it Okay, so I was trying to get it all the way out, but it did unscrew itself enough to where I could probably get my Nipex pliers on it, but I'm gonna go just a little bit more. I mean, this thing is absolutely perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and cinch up on it just to show you I'm a mechanical surgeon. Can I get any closer and zoom? I gotta flip the camera around. See, it was recessed see how it was center punched perfectly and it was drilled perfectly in the center now i'm just going to go ahead and hold my drill here and see if it'll pull out the rest of the way all right for an example since it's already protruded out a little bit i'm going to go ahead and put the next step up drill bit i'm going to go half inch because this one is probably a little bit more sharp and uh, it'll probably zip the rest of that stud right out. Remember, reverse. That's the difference between a sharp bit and a dull bit. You see the bite on that, just pulled it right out. Pulled it right out. Now, take a look. I just dropped it. Uh, where'd it go? There you have it, friends. That is a perfectly center punched, perfectly reverse drilled bolt extraction. Now let me show you about one of my coworkers' fails. This 3.2 liter engine, my old service manager gave it to me because the guy that was working on it was doing a secondary air injection cleaning with pressure washer, and he took this outlet housing off for the cooling system and he broke a bolt in there and then look at how he was trying to extract it like i'm talking about in the aluminum the steel bolt is in the center and he's drilling crooked and sideways and it's going on so then this whole situation i could probably fix it still right you need to get the stud out still i could probably do it and this engine still works perfectly fine uh 3.2 liter if someone needs it i don't need it uh, you know, it's got a price on it because it's, you know, only got about 80,000 miles on it. But, uh, this is what can happen if you don't know what you're doing. You sit there and walk the drill bit off and the probably wasn't using a reverse drill bit either. Now, if the reverse drill bit doesn't pull the stud out, then you have to drill an actual hole in it and use an extractor. That's a different video. That's something completely different. I'll get to that whenever I get to it but I just wanted to show you the bad scenario that what can happen. This actually turned into a whole engine. The shop had to buy an engine for someone because some numb nuts broke a bolt and then didn't know how to extract the thing. It was not me, I promise. It was someone else. I was the heavy line tech, so I was the guy that replaced the engine. And then 
it ended up being donated to me. So that's the story.